It's now time to take a look at some of Arirang's dig digital media content. And Onni News is back, taking a look at the top trending stories. Hi everyone, I'm Yoo Jung Min, a news reporter at Arirang TV, and welcome to Onni News. Recently, South Korea-Japan ties are worsening, but even that couldn't break 30 years of friendship among students from both countries. South Korea's southern city of Busan and Japan's Saga Prefecture have been maintaining cultural exchanges for 30 years. And this year, again, 33 students from Japan and some 20 students from India visited Busan to attend the International Juvenile Art Festival. Some worried due to souring ties between Seoul and Tokyo over recent diplomatic and trade issues, but they said it's important to maintain the decades-long friendship and trust. They also said they hope to see the two countries work together again in the near future. Sometimes children tell what adults have to listen to. North Korea state media released a picture of Kim Jong-un overseeing projectile launch last week. But take a closer look here, what do you first notice? Well, I see Kim's smartphone. Well, perhaps that could be Pyongyang's first smartphone, Arirang, or maybe something else. And not only that, there were also smart TVs and tablet PC. It's quite unusual for a head of state exposes his or her phone because it's top secret. Well, experts say Kim wants to boast North Korea's higher IT and science technology by intentionally exposing his smart gadgets. Although users in North Korea can access to the internet outside the country, well, it seems like they do enjoy movies and dramas with their phones. But smartphones without internet? Really? Not only half-fried, half-seasoned chickens, but half-paid taxis are available in Seoul. So how are these half-paid taxis possible? Well, by sharing your cab with someone else. In fact, cab sharing was illegal in South Korea since 1982, but now it's allowed in some parts of the capital to solve some transport issues. So here's how it works. First, with your smartphone app, you look for somebody near you who wish to share a taxi. The application will find the person who will accompany you on your journey at least 70% to the destination. So when the taxi comes, you just get in and pay half of the fares when you arrive at your destination. Your fellow rider will pay the other half. The carpooling is available for only men and men or women and women to prevent crimes and it's only available at night time. Do keep in mind. That's all we have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Bye!